Hi, I'm Kelsey. I often get asked whether waterproof trail running shoes are a good idea, and the short answer is sometimes. Let's talk a little more in detail. There are a wide variety of styles of waterproof shoes, so often you'll see something like a coating on the surface of the shoe or a liner like Gore-Tex or something like that. All of them are going to be doing the job of helping keep water from entering the shoe and help your feet breathe a little bit. However, there are limitations to that breathability, so you're never truly gonna have a waterproof shoe that breathes as well as a mesh one. I prefer waterproof shoes for super cold, snowy runs, or when I'm going on a damp trail. It's gonna keep some of that water from getting in and keep me a little warmer. But in a true downpour or really wet conditions, it's not gonna be that great because obviously water can still get in through the ankle of the shoe. So with something like a liner, you're gonna have a lot of water gathering inside the shoe and you'll be basically running in a mini puddle. Um, something like a trail gaiter can be really helpful for light rain and shedding some of that off to keep it away from those ankles. But again, it's not gonna help you in a stream. So for really wet runs, or if I'm doing a lot of stream or river crossings, I'm going to be going for a non-waterproof shoe. That's usually gonna have some type of drainage and it's gonna help my feet dry off a bit faster so I can enjoy my run more. Remember that your sock choice is just as important as your shoe choice, so be sure to go for something like wool or a synthetic fabric that will wick moisture to keep your feet more comfortable. Cotton socks hold on to moisture for longer, so they'll take forever to dry and they could potentially lead to blisters, which isn't as fun. If you want to learn more about trail running, be sure to check out some of our other videos and hope to see you out on the trail.